Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is All The Mods 3, and this is my friend here who's been poking me while I was trying to come back from that. Get out of here. <laughs> so hi everybody. Uh, I, uh, I see chat has already kind of gone whoop, a little bit faster than I had expected, so I will only say hi to those that I can still see in chat right now. Hello Korba Couch, uh, Wira, J Deets, True Blaze King, Wolfires, Naravar, Mayan Misfit, Robin, Glarvel, Der Candlejack, and uh, yeah, we've got we've got some fun going on here. Come on, come on, Mister Mister Funny Pants here, get out of here, and you get out of my crop. Come on, go ahead, pick a fight. Yeah, I thought you I thought you'd do that, but that was a pick. It's a little bit loud though. <laughs> Oh, face cam. Um, it's frozen as usual. Let me refresh that. Hold on. I'm sure you don't just want that profile pic of me. There we go. Who shoot me? I just killed you. Or was that your brother? I don't know. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, gosh. Such a jerk. Such a jerk. I need to get seeds in the ground. Regular wheat seeds so I can make bread. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to take a whole bunch over here and we're going to put these in the ground because uh, I need to eat some. Doggone it. Look at these jokers. I mean, come on, get get out of here. I don't want you on my property. Get lost. The, what kind of arrows am I shooting? Those are the stupid skeletons arrows. I'm like, what the heck? What What is going on here? This needs to be before that. Thank you. And I just dropped my pick. Oh. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. So, oh, man, it's just a mess right now with, with the whole nighttime thing going on for me. Jeez. All right. All right. Yeah, I got acknowledged. <laughs> also, can't spell it. See, oh, Sun's Fury. It's fine. <laughs> I like that clip you had, Nerevar. That altar you made is fantastic. You should tweet that to uh, Vasky. I'm sure that uh, he'd appreciate it. It's much more lively in here than it was in Mixer days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people here. Hey, is this the start of the stream? This is the start of the stream, Jesse. And welcome to it. Uh, so I think it's time I start, like, just uh, putting a whole bunch of seeds down. I Because uh, these are only... I don't, I don't care about, like, just trying to get... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like, super speedy growth going on or anything like that. I'm just thinking at this point... And I would take the shield off so I can do this faster, but I know I'm probably going to get attacked by something while I'm doing this, so I'm just keeping it on me, just in case. Uh, but I'm going to try using up all these seeds that I have here. So, oh, this freaking... Get out of here. Darn, darn weeds hanging down from the trees. Ah, no, this is my garden. Um, but I need to get my uh, wheat levels up, because if you look at my nutrition, it's dangerously low. I'm going to start getting, like, um... Uh, bad stuff happening to me at this point uh, if I don't start eating some bread products part of, part of my daily like five a day or something like that I don't know but hopefully I'll be able to get there we go all right Phew. and I've I do have potatoes and other goods that I can eat stuff but it's not gonna help me hello Rowan how's it going I feel a little bad for not being on YouTube to answer questions for that nice grandma in there, but Twitch just works better. Hey, no problem. I count from zero. <laughs> She's on our Discord, so if she has questions, you can answer them there. It's true. It's very true. Uh, so, I've been, uh, while I was uh, booting up the stream there, sorry, there was a... Uh, I just had some other stuff going on. I had to get some tea, as usual. But um, I figured I would, while I... Had it going. Just every time I, I think of it, I'm just going to pop in one of these rotten flesh so I can transform it into the goods. Uh, I, I don't have any cows nearby. I've got these sheep that have been sticking around with me, which is nice. But I need a cow so that I can uh, also convert my nutrition gauge over a little bit better. Let's do this. And in fact, I think, yeah, I've got a space for bones at least. Hi, Robin. 
I missed my train, so I have 15 minutes to watch the stream. Oh no, Robin, I'm so sorry to hear about the train. But welcome to the stream for what it's worth. Twitch might work better, but YouTube is all that it that make it through our firewall. <laughs> well, there you go. They're just giving people options here. Well, what is his Twitter? My Twitter? I think it's at Mischief of Mice One. I don't know. It's in the description below for either platform that you're on right now. So check there. Um, begin Cow Wars. I'm good. Slept from 10 p.m. to 11:30 a.m. today. Oh. Oh, that sounds absolutely amazing, Rowan. Seriously, though, that that sounds amazing. So fruit, protein. I need meat. I need to eat some meat. Um, I don't think that I'll get much from this. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not going to give me too much. Actually, let's let's see. I, I was at 89%, right? I know that this will probably push me over. There we go. So now protein. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't really count as a meat. That That's... That's a bad choice. Uh, but this might work. Uh, there we go. Just waiting for the hunger to kick in. And that gives me 91. Okay, so I'll, I'll eat this other one here for now. Maybe maybe I'll put up some more. But I, there, I have other meat products, I thought. I've got a cooked fish here I can eat. Just to, just to maintain it. I think I'll eat a couple of these ones. But if I can get my bucket out of my backpack and find a cow... I will be set, because then I can just drink that. Oh, Vasquez. Uh, I, I, I can't remember. I'm sure if you just did a search on Twitter, you'd find it. Yeah, Rowan, you lucky ducker indeed. Lucky, lucky. Luck be a Rowan tonight. Um, at Vasky. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Robin number one on jumping in there real quick. It's the nutrition mod. Yes, it is. Very different from Spice of Life. And in fact, how's my... Did I turn the volume? Yeah, I turned the volume all the way back up. Um, where is a coup? I didn't see a coup. I see slimes. That's probably keeping a lot of the, a lot of the spawn rate down of other mobs because it's just... Of just things in general because there's just so many sl slimes. I see pigs. Hmm. But no coos. Maybe there's hill coos up on the top up there or something. Well, I'm still going to check over here in this little hilltop. And then I'll probably uh, go back if I don't find anything spice of life. No, there's no spice of life. Oh, not not in the, not in, no spice of life mod here. No, no, no. Thankfully, nutrition is in here. Uh, not that, uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've just had enough of spice of life because I played it in so many mod packs at this point. Uh, that I am all about getting the I see lapis. Okay, quick diversion, people. <laughs> and while I'm at it, let's eat a little bit more food. Eventually, it'll it'll go in. Uh, uh, it's really chewy stuff, apparently. Oh, oh, there's a there's a thing with bad guys. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I should farm those for anything. I don't know. I don't know. A coup? Are you a warmongering already? A coup? No. K. A coup. A coup. I'm even spelling it wrong. C O W. A coup. I'm in Scotland. Come on, people. <laughs> Just need me a wee coup. All right. Uh, let's get this here. A little lapis keepsake. Yoink. I see sheeps. Slimes, um, sheep, sheep. What the heck? There, there's like no cows at all. Where, where are they? And if I had to, if I'm to go with my old Michigan accent, I I would just call them a cow. You know, cows that I'm looking for. But you know, when in Scotland, do as the Romans do? No, I, that doesn't work. I would say most frustrating way. There are worse mods out there. Uh, it, it's just intended to give a, a different kind of difficulty, but on a server, it's it's not very friendly in my mind because of the uh, the lag. I mean, heck, you saw how long it took me to eat some foods. I mean, I was already done with that fish, actually halfway through it, but due to server issues, you know, it, it tends to take a bit longer. All right, well, I guess I'm like wandering back to my base, but at a different route. In hopes of finding a cow. I should have brought a lead. 
Darn bees, always stinging me and stuff. So today, I do have alternate things in mind besides cow hunting. Uh, and the thing is, I'm just wanting to like fill up on my uh, dairy <laughs> from a cow right now. Um, what the? Doll's eyes? That that sounds gross. Ew. Ew. This, ew. I, I was thinking I would uh, try uh, starting up refined storage and seeing how far I could get with it. I don't know if I'll have enough materials or not, but it's worth a try. Um, there's a hill over that. Wait, what kind of tree is this? This looks like a cinnamon tree. It is. Can I get a little bit of cinnamon? Oh, oh, yep, yep, I can. I don't think that I can actually eat this without mixing it with something, but it, it's cool that I found a cinnamon tree. That's kind of rare. Unexpected at the very least. Um, my current pack isn't that bad. I've made sure that there's many, many ways to get your food, and I might even have removed it. If there was a way of instantly eating the food, then I, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. It's just it takes forever to eat food when you've got a server is the problem that a lot of people try, tend to experience. Or the, the glitch that will they'll eat literally for like two minutes and still never eat the food. <laughs> a little about to get into Minecraft to play some. See if they gave me back all my tinker supplies and cobalt, manila, and hardite, and bronze. When in Scotland, enjoy good scotch. Eh, there you go. <laughs> I could support that. Um, fruit, I think, was the other one I was looking for. A little bit of fruit wouldn't hurt. I don't know if I get... Yes, I do get some fruit from that. So maybe I'll keep that on the hot bar instead of the veggies. Um, gosh, this place is nothing but sheep. Am I in Scotland here as well? No, there's... I've got I've got coos up on the hill outside my house. So I don't know what the deal is. Where, where are they? It's going to be nighttime before I even get back. Valen's about, wow, I'm, I'm already 230 blocks away, and I'm kind of like circling in a little bit of a fashion. Hey, it's the zone. Wait, what? What? Did he join in? Oh, the zone joined in. I totally missed that. <laughs> ah, wow. So, yeah, uh, Callisto and the zone are online. Online. Do, do, do. My last pack used Darkness Matters as its primary theory and restriction. I think Velen would prefer a good meat. Oh, this is very true. Very true. Uh, yeah, because uh, we have some scotch. We've had it for a very long time. And it was, I think, 20 years aged when we had it. Or when we got it. Oh, there's our, there's our objective. There's our objective. Now, if there's a restriction on how often I can get the milk. Oh, God. All right, so let, let's just do this and then we'll continue on with that <laughs> so uh yeah the um the scotch we still have it we've we haven't drank i think maybe half of it because i'm not that much of a scotch drinker and we only drink it for like very special occasions when there's company or something but uh mead yeah i, I come up with reasons to drink mead <laughs> but we don't have any in the house right now either I guess he hasn't read the, f the story of the Golden Goose. <laughs> Food eating glitch happens in my single player too. Yeah. What did I miss? Says the Rouge. <laughs> or is it the Rouge? I don't know. Uh, but uh, what did I miss? Uh, you didn't miss much. So far I've, I've gone cow hunting and I found a cow. And now I'm just drinking a whole bunch of milk eventually. How, what am I at for dairy? 44. Oh, God. This is going to take a while. Let me keep, keep catching up on stream fruit tree a fruit tree for from for dairy products well I, I could make some cheese and stuff but i mean still gonna need dairy here you guys should do a combo stream with callisto and the zone i don't know that they're streamers per se uh but if ever they wanted to they know that the invite's already open i never wanted to impose that upon them uh the coup hunt <laughs> It's C O W. If you want to spell it with an accent of Scot, uh, like a Scottish accent, I'd do C O O, the coup hunt. Otherwise, you're, you've got things totally going C O U P, like I'm overthrowing the the cow uh, hierarchy here. <laughs> Sixty percent. Uh, how much? How much do I get each time? That's uh, there. There's that one. Two percent. 
dear God. <laughs> you should bring them to your base. Yes, and this is what I was saying. I didn't make a lead before I left my base, but I do now know that if I need uh, milk, I just need to head, what is it, south of my base uh, to find them. Oh, great. Slimes coming up to show up and ruin the party. You don't need a reason to drink mead. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I use to drink mead. <laughs> Get out of here. You guys attack me. I think they actually have to hurt hit me, hurt me in order to do damage. And I'm afraid to hit the cow. Oh gosh. Okay, come on, come on, get get out of here. No, I don't I don't want you here. Go away. I I'm I'm drinking milk. Does a body good. <laughs> Need a good it's Monday, drink mead, you got a good night's sleep, drink mead. <laughs> well, you're also low on fruit and you passed a few trees. No, I've I've got some fruit back at the base. I'll be alright. Fruit, if anything, is probably one of the easier things to come by, whereas uh dairy, not not so much. Come on, drink it. Drink it. Go. Get out of here. No, no, no. Oh, what? Are there slime islands? There's slime islands freaking everywhere in this mod pack. Jeez. Gonna have to change those spawn rates. There we go. Get. Oh, hello, chicken. I'm not interested in you right now. I need, I need more milk. Need to get my calcium up. Or use a golden lasso. I, d I don't, ha I didn't bring any of the stuff. I didn't bring the stuff, peoples. I didn't bring none. Though, admittedly, I do have some slime. I might be able to make a lead. Let me guess, it uses leather. No, it uses string. Oh, actually, that's not bad. I was about to say, if it uses leather, I'm not killing these cows. I want them to survive. <laughs> Strawberry salad, yum. Just one wheat would help, too. Make a waypoint. <laughs> All right, I think, am I there? I'm at 100% dairy, folks. 100%. That's right, chicken. And this, this little, oh, this little guy here. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be the death of these cows. Get out of here. Um, all right, I can turn the, the volume back up now. Let's let's do that. In fact, ah, oh, there we go. Thank you, cows. I, I much appreciate it. I don't have any string nearby. Uh, where did that sheep go? I might be able to. If I if I can get. Wait wait wait. I just yeah. I can make this. I can make this happen because I've got a comma. Uh, let's not switch that. I don't need the this anymore. I need a sheep now. There was one. It was pushing me around. There's cows. Oh, I see a village. Ooh, someone's probably already raided it, but oh, I see a sheep. All right, this way I can get string. Wait, and I can take the string, do this, and then I think I'm still gonna need a bit of wood. Let, let's take something a little bit less conspicuous, uh, shall we? Let's, let's jump over here. And in fact, I will just chop this wood here. There we go. Make myself a crafting grid because I don't have a remote one yet. I, t I just placed a log. <laughs> I don't have a problem with slime island. I have ember problem instead. Oh, those aren't that bad. But they do shoot you from range, so that that's kind of annoying. There we go. Get out of here. Get. Jeez. All right, string. Uh, what is it for the lead? Is it that? Yeah, there we go. All right, which should give me the opportunity to lasso some coup. Let's take you, and we're going to take you. And come come with me. Moo to you two. Back to the base, which isn't too far, but I don't know how we're going to get them back up, up top. It's not the easiest of journeys. And I don't have a lot of confidence in these cows. Soy milk. Oh, soy milk probably works. Doesn't make sense, but it probably works. Oh man, did I lose one already? Really? It was it was a single step. Where, where's my lead? Ugh, get, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Look, I, I'm bringing your friend with me. It, it, we're good. We're good. It's good. The animal thing, that is quark. Yeah, the way that they look like this. Actually, I think it might be actually additions. It might be both. <laughs> How about making milk into yogurt to take a stack back with you for your next dairy binge? Well, I still have to harvest the milk, so it's no big deal. Now it's just a matter of maintaining it, so 
I figure I will try. Uh, boy, these guys are just, you, you're killing me. You're killing me, cows. Oh my gosh. Uh, how far away is it? Uh, we're not going to make it at this rate. Come on. No dilly-dally. Why are you going that way? Come on. Come on. String is no problem since there are sheep next to you. Yeah, yeah. How about making milk into your yogurt to take a stack back? Boy, I got that already. Is there even soy milk in the mod? Probably. I think I think Pam's is in here, so. Might be. Let's see. Milk. There, there's, yeah, all sorts of milkshakes can be made, which are actually really, really good. Yeah, Pam's Harvest Crap. Uh, craft. Pam's Harvest Craft is in here, so. Uh, Pam's is in the pack. No, it doesn't. Besides it being really, really gross. <laughs> that's all a matter of perspective. Oh, cows, why you, why you do that? Come on. Come on. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, uh, glitch. Why, why you do that glitch? Come on, cows. Come on. I've got perfect names for these two if I have uh, any name tags, by the way. I think that I think people would approve if I have name tags. If not, well, things will be a little more interesting. Come on, come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna like tie you two up to a fence post. Does eating the slime ball give any protein? <laughs> no, I don't think it does actually. Uh, I mean, it gives you the the slime benefits of of that, but I don't think it actually does that. I thought you wanted to like just bit the bullet or something. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Let's just go up here a few blocks. I'll even jump a block backwards. Lag. Yeah. It's fun trying to transport these guys without a golden lasso and using vanilla style leads. We're almost there though. So that's something. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know you want to. I'm going to eat some fruit. It's going to take me a while to stay away from the ender pearls. And the cactus. Don't jump up on those. D those are bad for you. Just just come around here. Come on. I, I need a fence. Shoot. I don't think I have a fence. Okay, you two. Uh, don't go too far. I I'm going to try and, and get this fence out of the crate if I have... Do I have a fence in a crate? Tell me I've got a fence in one of these crates. I thought I had one. Uh crud. <laughs> All right. Sticks and acacia. Got it. We're making a fence. Uh, so let's do fence. A recipe. Uh, okay. So it's just a couple on the sides, a couple sticks. And then we can uh, just strap these two in, and we should be good to go. <laughs> Put this stuff away for now. All right. You two still with me? All right. Good. Come on. This way should be somewhat safe over here. I just need to put you down on the how do I how do I get my my leads back? There we go. Uh, so I just need to kind of go one and one. No 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 that's there we go. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to happen. And then I go here. There we go. You two stay there for now. Thank you. Whew. Vanilla fishing mechanics will give you... Oh, I missed that. Logging in shortly, getting kiddos marshaled. Yeah, I was rather worried that they'd rub up against the cactus. Yeah, me too. That's another reason why I brought two of them. Potato, potato. There was a fence in there. <laughs> of course there was. Yet another reason why I'm... Go yeah, there... Oh, there's a bunch of... Why I'm going to be uh, working on making an inventory system. <laughs> Do I have torches? Oh, gosh, I've got three in here. Well, I'll start with that around these guys. Let's let's hit offset. Oh, that doesn't bode well for these guys surviving the night uh, with all the skeletons that were showing up over here. Let's see if I can actually. Oh, lag spike. What the what? Let's see if I can actually um, make a little bit more light source. Don't I have something in my backpack? Maybe. I thought I had some torches. I do. Let's do that. Put that comma away. Put the bucket away for now. I'll even put those away. All right. Let's put out some lights so these guys don't get killed too quickly. <laughs> too quickly. I realize that they are going to get killed. It's just a matter of time. Uh, but 
for now. That's a start. Uh, and I hate lighting up areas like this, but it's what I'm gonna do. Four through, yep, yep, down, yep, yep. I, I, I got that there were, there were, there were fences. Yep. <laughs> For me, looking around in there and and finding the fences that I didn't know was there was actually going to take me longer than it would for me to actually have made a new set, but it's done. It's over. Hi, Ian Buckley. You have 33 fence next to your bricks. <laughs> Talk on it, people. Stop looking at my inventory. <laughs> There's nothing there to see. Nothing there to see at all. And this is another reason why I'm going to be working on refined storage. So I could potentially eliminate this issue. Uh, but I, I usually just go with like external storage uh, so that I don't have to do anything with my existing storage. I just plug into it. But I'm kind of thinking at this point, I, I might I might like do like the disk drive this time because uh, uh, that's just going to be better all around for my sanity and easier for me to transport uh, when I need to, which is going to be very shortly if I can get this stuff up there. So, <laughs> fence in the cows. Well, I, I will. I have enough fences. <laughs> but for now, I wanted to light up the area since it was turning night. Uh, dark, rather. Let's take this. Take the food back out. Uh, I've got this junk to get rid of. Man, so much junk. Get rid of that lapis. Slime balls. Experience box. Torch on the fence post. I would, but I have such bad accuracy and I was worried about the lag on the server that if I did that, I would instead break the leads and have them pop off. So... <laughs> Hey, Celtic Raven, and hello, monkey. Pay no attention to the fences by the bricks. I will not, Jesse. Pay any attention to them. What are you doing, Robin Grimko? Also, Valen, you may want to update the Discord link in the description with the custom one that someone made. I was barely able to make the stream tonight. I will update stuff uh, a bit later, and probably after I've updated this server, but... um. It's just been a, a terribly busy week for me, and I apologize. Uh, so, 35 bricks, or bricks. Hey, you know what? Look, it's nowhere next to the bricks. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're giving me the wrong directions. <laughs> and yes, I realize that they're actually in an area that isn't lit now. But I had a torch. I put down two torches next to each other. There they are. There we go. And that one's going to fix everything. It's it's going to fix every last little... Get, get, get out of here, Windy Garden. I, I don't... I, I don't... No. Oh, thank goodness it stayed as, as a single piece. Whew. I was like, no, I don't want it to just like go all over the place and, and make a mess. Uh, I need some dirt or water for that. Oh, man. Well, it's close enough that they shouldn't spawn, I hope. I don't might go pop any. That sounds interesting. I don't think I'm going to go that far, though. Oh, hey, it's daytime. Yeah. Miko pop any. That, that's interesting. I, ha I do remember something about that, too. You should put a torch on the fence. I will. I will. I'm, I came back here so that I could actually realize that the torches were in my backpack. All right, people. Back up with the backseat gaming, all right? Chill. I, I'm, I'm fencing in cows for crying out loud. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if I really want cows to be fenced in because, I don't know, they like to wander, you know? They, they do. Hey, come on. Move it. Move it or lose it. You're going to lose it at this rate. It's going to be sad keeping them in this, this small area, but I guess this is temporary. I, I will expand their area in the future because I, I feel bad keeping them all cramped up like this. Chocobro, I didn't feel bad at all because he could freaking fly. <laughs> so if he wanted to leave, he could. These guys, not so much. Poor guys. All right, so our poor, poor cows. I don't even know if there's two of them or not, but or if they're both male or female or what. They probably end up mating one way or another if I, uh, you know, gave them both wheat. But 
for now, let's just, hey, come on, grab some water. And there, grab that, there. There we go. And now they've got a little bit of water source, a little bit of grass, and I think I could probably take this up. There we go. Excuse me, Coos. All right, so we've got a source of dairy now. Oh, and I've got, of course, the uh, all the wheat is growing. I could water it, but I think I'll be all right for now. I think I'll be all right. Can I eat? Can eat cinnamon? Wait a second. Hold on a second. What do we got? 198, 22, 95, 99. Grain? Huh. Okay. Makes sense. Though I would not recommend anybody eat raw cinnamon like that. Oh my gosh, you'd regret that. Hello, Squid Crafter. <laughs> For an Emmy system. I don't want an Emmy system. You keep your Emmy system. I'll, I'll go for something else. What are the clearest signs of a fecal infestation? Cows or sheep suddenly running off backwards very fast. Fecal? <laughs> actually, hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to hit control. Uh, actually, I need to hit escape. I need to move something for my... Uh... Why, is, why is this not... I can't I can't move this now. What is going on? I currently cannot move my uh my internal chat here. Is it alt? No. Is it the screen that I'm on? Wow, okay. I think it crashed. Hold on a second, folks. Uh let me close this. I'm I'm gonna lose chat for a moment myself, so I will catch up to you guys in a moment. I'll probably come back and be, uh... Alright. Can I... Ah, there we go. Now I can move it around again. So let's bring this back. Let's bring it all back. This and this. That. The other thing. Think drunk brawling Smurfs from Terry Pratchett. Wow, that's a really interesting way to just jump back into the chat. Uh, I missed the previous comments now. <laughs> Alright. Um... So let's see. Now with this in place, I can move this up a little higher. There we go. So that if somebody chats me in game, I can feasibly see that too. Much better. Okay. And I don't think it's in my way anymore. No. Uh, you guys don't see the chat that I have. Uh, it's currently something that I have just overlaid on my screen so that I can interact a little bit quicker with you guys. Not as high maintenance. Stupid urge. Yeah, tw Twitch does that. Yes, I see that, Robin. Thank you very much. Uh, dirt. I need to get rid of this dirt, among other things, because my inventory is about to be filled with all sorts of other goods. Broccoli. Get, get this windy crap out of here, too. All right. Uh, the zone has made the advancement. Diamonds. D-I-E. M-O-N-D. All right. So, um, refined storage. Uh, do I have any space left in my bag? Yes. Put that stuff away. Put the pickaxe away. All right. Uh, so let's see. Refined. Thankfully, there isn't like page after page after page of stuff. It's just some simple things. Hi, blood. My love. <laughs> the neck, Mac Fiegel. There can be 1,000. I have no idea what you guys are talking about at this point. I think you've all been kind of drinking the Kool-Aid. And yeah. We do see the chat overlay. No, no, no. That you guys have a different chat overlay. I count from zero. Uh, I, I am using, uh, on yours, there is, um, what is it, uh, YouTube up here, I believe, and Twitch is down here. My chat overlay is actually in this area entirely, and it combines the two. Ooh. So, yeah. And it has a grayed, a grayed out background that's transparent, or no, translucent. Um, so that uh, I, I can actually read the words uh, with, so that there, there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We need to start with uh, a creative controller. No, a controller is what we need to make, which is going to be a bunch of, oh, quartz and rich iron. That's right. I need iron, quartz, and I've got, oh, that's right. I've got mystical agriculture I could go with too. 
Oh, it's going to be good because I've got the prosperity shards. All right, nether quartz. I did not get very much. Oh, yes, I did. All right, there we go. Stack and a half. Take a stack or two of this. See how much we can make of this, uh, this here because I'm going to need a bunch. I think that's going to make a stack's worth. And I'll have plenty of quartz left, which is good. So that's a start. Different than his. They're under IO. Uh, we're drinking the special sheep medicine then under IO, the popular sequel. Yeah, it's not 112 yet. Liniment. Oh boy, you get some snake oil going on. Uh, let's grab a little bit of some regular iron here. Actually, put that away. Grab the regular stack. Gold, diamond, copper. I don't think I'll need tin or bronze. Uh, I might need a little bit of glowstone, some redstone. Oh, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Uh, what's the recipe for redstone? You, you matter. Tiny piles, block, destabilizing cryothium. Of course, redstone essence. <laughs> I don't think there's any other things that are really going to be that helpful besides like going mining. Yeah, you, I could squeeze stuff. Redstone ore. Wait, get me eight, two, and two. Oh, 0.5% chance of getting the other stuff. But wow, that's quite a bit. Three. Yeah, there's there's not much up here. Wow, there's actually quite a bit up here. Let's change the page. 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 Wow, wow. Tons of ways of getting it, but it, it's, it's all pretty much reliant upon redstone or I make the seed, which I don't have that much stuff going on for that yet. Three to one. Just a wee dram. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, so, put this in here. Oh, by the way, uh, for those that didn't notice, I now have uh, a, um, the, um, what is it? Cobalt uh, pig iron paper uh, longbow that I was going for. I Still, it'd be best if I could just, like, uh, use the cobalt for a, an embossment on the bow. But it is much faster, and I did use too much of the uh, redstone. Also, it has uh, ender shafts on the arrows, so now they, they're practically super fast. Uh, of course, you don't see it because of the lag, but meh, meh. <laughs> I've been drinking Alex Jones snake oil. Free of charge, silk touch, ender redstone. No, everybody was telling me I needed to do that. I don't want to. Um, so... I need to take this mine and use it. It's got a tiniest bit of luck on it, but I do need to go mining a little bit for redstone. But let's see how badly I need that. Because right here, I don't think any of that's needed. I am going to need a solderer, which is going to be sticky pistons. Well, it's not too bad. Do I even have any pistons? I don't think I have any pistons. I thought I might have come across one in a chest or something. You should make your own pop socket. What the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> you should probably set up some redstone crops after mining. Couch! <laughs> I don't have any redstone crops. I have to end pre Here, all right. Res the recipe for it uh, is going to be redstone essence is a tier 3 seed, which requires intermediate. Uh, I have 22 inferium. I think I need to make a, an in or plus 64, but I, I think I need to make more um, inferium. <laughs> Uh, crops before I go that far uh, but but first I, I want to get my inventory set up because otherwise I'm just going to be a completely disorganized slob for the rest of this series and and I don't think you guys want that I don't want that the dog doesn't want that so yeah <laughs> hi French today is not my day for mass transit missed my bus while waiting for the crosswalk link to change at least smartphone is working oh no Robin <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Fell in streams, it is live. After that, it kept on YouTube. This is true, Celtic. This is true. All right. Um, what's going on here? Any base? Uh, ah, gotcha. Um, so, I do have this. I need what little redstone I have. But I am going to need a solder and a base. So let's get the... Where's the solder? There it is. Oh yeah, pistons. Sticky pistons specifically, which I have plenty of uh, slime wherever I put it. I thought it was in here. There it is. Uh, one, two. Uh, we'll get a little bit of some stone. One, two, three. Or is it cobblestone for a piston? I can never remember. Because I don't make them that often. 
It's smooth stone. So that's and that's actually four each. Two, three, four, plus some wood. Shouldn't be a problem. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then a bunch of quartz enriched iron. So we've got this plus this plus those. And what else was it for the piston? Redstone. That was it. One, two. I said two. Oh, two. There we go. What? What? <laughs> is it not going to make it because it's acacia wood? Is that, is that what the problem is here? Oh, I've got slime in there. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, that's for afterwards, and I add the slime to it. It's just an iron ingot, which I, I thought I had iron. There we go. One, two. All right. Just got to wait for it to catch up now. Okay. Can I please? No. It's going to be cobblestone, isn't it? Is that what the problem is here? Even though it looked like it was regular stone, it, it's cycling through the recipes. Yep, it's regular cobble. My bad. Okay, one, two. Put those there. Two slime. Two sticky pistons. Take some, not iron. Take some quartz enriched iron. Get some solderers going. All right, so uh, we're on to a start. I am going to have it up there, but I think... Um, as I'm going to be putting stuff on disk drives, that's probably going to be the easy way for me to transport stuff. Can you teleport me back to my base? Died just as I put down bed, otherwise I'm running 5,500 blocks. Uh, I don't see you online. I don't know what your coordinates are. I, d I don't. I, I can TP you if that's what you want. I don't, I don't mind. Some of the chisel cobble does look like smooth stone. I really get frustrated by so many chisel forms of cobble looking like the smooth stone versions. How much have I missed of refined storage? None, Robin. I have made a solderer. That is, that is the extent of my ability, <laughs> which used up two of my redstone in the process. And in fact, I just realized that I, I still don't have a floor for my central inventory system. Uh, let me grab some slabs, which actually I have some. But I'm going to want more, uh, in fact. So let's do some more of this. Two, three, four. That's a little bit better. Uh, that's like a four by ten. There we go. That's a little bit better. I understand making cobble look a little nicer, but... Yeah. <laughs> Not actually had the eye chisel do that to me. I don't know. He just started on it, Robin. Yep, you'll need power. I will need power. Uh, and in fact, it's probably a good idea to have it just close to this. I might just trim this area off a bit. That might be a good way to go. Just grab this, put the bucket stacked with the other one. Come on. And we'll just kind of extend this over. And then I could have all of this kind of close by, but not necessarily connected. Uh, I am going to have it, well, yeah, I guess I will have it connected. So let's have like a little walkway to the next area, which is what? Where's the next tree? Next tree is here. So I could have it be a little bit more central, I think. We're going to do this. And in fact, I'm going to turn off that, that. That's really annoying just to have that. Perfect timing, French. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, TP French, uh, KM French. Uh, what is it? Uh, minus 897, 68. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put you two blocks up. Uh, minus 4956, uh, XYZ. Okay. I don't know. He's teleported. <laughs> Hopefully he survives. All right. Well, he has power up there. He should put some cables under his floor, though. Well, uh, just, just, just chill. Just chill. Couch, let me do my thing. Come on, man. I'm building my base. I'm not building yours. Come on. All right. So let's clear this out a little bit more. And we're going to have a little uh, space here. For this to go on. I don't want it to be too big, uh, though I do want it to be somewhat centrally accessible. 
And therefore, I'm thinking, stupid creeper snuck up, just put base, have slime boots, so can TP as high as you want. I just teleported you. Wait, huh? I'm confused. All right, so there we go. And there. That should work. That should work. Uh, I can always expand this out. Maybe I'll make it like a, like this, where I, I make it into another rectangle over here, and I just make it like a series of rectangles. I would like to have these like slightly above and below. I think these two at the same height is going to be pretty good, but then uh, some of the other ones are going to be like a, a block or two above or something like that, and I'll have little like up and down stairs to each one. Back to the Future 2. <laughs> Closed server? Yeah, it's, it's a patron server. Uh, I don't know what you're saying in the other language, but English is preferred, please. Someone once said, I like my women like I like my whiskey aged 12 years. Oh, it's, 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 you, you don't need to say stuff like that. I know someone said it, but I could say all sorts of things that somebody said. You just don't need to. <laughs> Alan likes to play his own style. This is true. Sorry. Ah! And I apologize. I did not realize that that was your that was your name and not what you were typing. <laughs> My apologies. I read it as like uh, words first, and then someone else's comment. So I apologize for that. But you're fine with uh, with your name being like that. All right. So um, let's try and set up something right now. Um, Solder is going to need power, but so is actually I've got it in the wrong spot already. I need that pick. Solder can pull power from the main core, which can be hooked up. Uh, probably, let's put it here. We can put the core there, and then we can have the uh, uh, the disk drive next to it, and the main access station sitting on top of that. Yeah, I think that'll work. I do like to play my own stuff. I like my coffee, hot as hell, sweet as low, black as space. <laughs> I like my tea, Earl Grey. There you go. Ah, far better beverage related quote than the whiskey one. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, so next we're going to need a controller, which is going to be more quartz enriched iron, machine casing silicon, which I think, oh, come on, silicon can be made from, what, what? Do I have to go through applied energistics? No, no. Certus quartz dust. Oh, really? I could smelt that into stuff? Interesting. What other kinds of... Oh, any kind of silicon. Silicon ingot. This kind is what I wanted. Wait, what? So it's... I have to place it into another crafting grid to get the refined storage one. That's kind of silly with crafting tweaks. But okay. All right. All right. So I can take some nether quartz and smelt up some of that. Uh, thankfully, I've got a redstone furnace here and some nether quartz. One, two, three... Uh, how many am I going to need for this? Three for that, plus the machine casing. Okay, so that's all I'll need for that. That's going to take a little bit of time. Wow. I need to get an augment in here that speeds up the process of this. Let's look up augment for this. Uh, no, not fuel catalyzer. Uh, I think it's the one that looks like a little pill. Increases maximum power usage. Processing speed. That's a bunch of gold and redstone. Maybe I don't put that in there because I don't. I have one piece of redstone left. <laughs> this is my stream. That joke would have gotten him banned. Well, I try to give people a chance to uh, uh, recuperate because if you just ban people, they're just going to go somewhere else and do the exact same thing. So I I try, but if if it's completely offensive or something, then yeah, I'll I'll probably just get rid of them. Uh, if, if I think it's over the top and they just start spamming the heck out of it and they need to get gone. But otherwise, uh, I will um, I, I attempt to try and educate before I uh, punish, if possible. Not always, though. Sometimes they just get the chopper. <laughs> Cover to bee! <laughs> I'm putting sand through a sag miller crusher. Well, uh, that. And I could feasibly uh, crush up some of the... Um, where is it? The Certus Quartz that I have. But I figure I'm going to save that for now. For a rainy day, perhaps. Which today, it looks kind of sunny at the moment. Might have kicked that for that joke, but not a ban. <laughs> so what Patreon do we donate to to get access to this server? The information is in the descriptions below. 
excuse me, regardless of whatever uh, section you are, you know, looking at. Wow, far out there, lol. <laughs> All right, so that went into here. Got my three silicon. Uh, and let's go back to uh, refined storage. Ah, uh, that I don't need storage. I just need refined. My bad. Uh, adding the extra word didn't do it. Five dollar per server, more or less. Yep. You are a better person than I ever was, Valen. Oh, Rowan, that's not necessarily true, but I appreciate the compliment. Uh, does Certus still work for sharpness on Tigger's tools? I don't think so, but I don't think I've tried. The highest is 15 with access to all three servers. Well, technically, you could donate as much as you want, but, you know, yeah. That, that is the highest level we have advertised. Um, did a Rowan, but that's one of the reasons I watch him. True. All right, so we've got a controller, uh, quartz, and diamond. Fair enough. I think I could do this on, I don't have a crafting grid up here. All right, that's it. Crafting, table on a stick. Yep, yep, totally doing it, totally doing it. Not going to regret it. Wouldn't be prudent. Give me, give me the stuff. I need the stuff and the things. A sign. I need, I need a sign, folks. <laughs> One, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That should do it. I'll have a little bit of wood left over, but I think I'll be okay. Grab these, that, uh, and then crafting grid, making, it's going to make three signs the problem. Bleh. I hate that. But this plus this, crafting, crafting table on a stick. Okay. Now, now we're talking. No more crafting woes running up and down as much. Highest tier, not amount, so, bleh, yeah, yep. Never said you couldn't go higher than the 50. <laughs> Crafting table on a stick not being craftable in dark grid frustrated one of my friends into not playing that pack. Really? Really? <laughs> there's an inventory cake you can eat, and it'll double your inventory, and there's a crafting table uh, cake you can eat that will give you an extra crafting table, I think. I think that's in that pack. I can't remember. But seriously, it's just... It's just a crafting table. It's going to take up space in your inventory. It just means you either set it down or you just click. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, all right. So let's look up that. Uh, each person has their own limitations. So refined. There we go. This. Oh, that's right. I need to make that first. Just one, please. And we'll clear that out. And then we make this controller, ba -ba -da -ba, which is going to need power. And until it gets power, it's going to be pretty useless. So I'm going to need to pipe some of this power that is going all over the place into this in some way, shape, or form. And I'm kind of thinking underneath, but that's going to be a bit tricky. So uh, I'm kind of thinking of being a bit sneaky about this, maybe. Maybe. Let's see if I can actually... Kinda, come on. Come on. Give, give me the stuff. Okay, so... I could have power coming out through somewhere. Where is it at the moment? It's currently going all through this stuff. The steam dynamo doesn't have any solids in it, but that's fine. I don't think it needs any because it's just going to burn them up. This one, on the other hand, is our main power source, giving us up to 40 RF per tick. I will go to a random one. No, no, no. You, you tell us which one you want to, uh, to play on, and that's pretty much how it goes from there. I have an open space back here that doesn't need to be here. There we go. I'm thinking covers is what I'm thinking for this little stretch here. And maybe I can run something a little more secretive through here. I just need to find a spot that I can poke this through the floor. And I think I might have an idea. I could have this encircle the tree so I could have multiple things going around it. And I could have it go down into this floor. So I'm going to need some covers, some acacia wood sla wood covers, as well as more leadstone, which is probably going to require more redstone, which means I might have to go downstairs and do a little bit of mining on camera. Sorry, folks. Uh, but we'll see if I have any. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I thought I was keeping that stuff. I have six. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, but I could still try this and, and use it as best I can. So let's do a uh, cover. How much is a cover? It's lead and iron nuggets. I think that I might be able to swing. I've got iron. 
got some lead. Let's do a couple of those and we'll see what we've got here. One iron, turn that into nuggets and two lead, get myself about a dozen covers for now. Take that plus this. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. So let's try this. Yep. And this should last me, <clears throat> excuse me, quite some time because one gets me six. Uh, so let's try 12 for now, just to see if uh, I can get this thing working as intended. Find storage most of the time too. Well, that's sad. I can choose what server I go to if I pay five dollars. The choice will be random. No, no, no. It's not. It's not random. There's not. It's not random. <laughs> With refined storage having the add-on that lets you make a classic crafting machine with a huge box. It's my current favorite of the two. Yes, you can do that. And it, I was tempted. I was very tempted at one point to do that. Let's put down some of these and see how these look. Beautiful. I am very happy with this. I am very happy with this. I am very happy with this. <laughs> In fact, I could I can continue on with this. Uh, actually, I probably want to go back a little further so that it's not visible from the outside edge. I could probably do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could just expand this a little bit more. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. Plan's coming together, folks. I know. I'm making a mess on the ground. Oh, well. It's just a thing that's going to happen. Uh, so... Mining is fine. Just talk to us while digging. <laughs> Not a problem. What we do is to use an external storage connection to a drawer controller so we could use both together. Black coffee for the win. What version of Minecraft is this live stream running at? 112.2. All the mods 3 is the version and uh, setup for you. So let's see. I'm going to need... Whoops. Not those. Those. So I can make this go back here. And then no one will see. Ooh. Didn't see that coming. All right. So let me grab the things that fell down while I'm down here. And I can go get some minings. Minings done. Let me drop some of this stuff off real quick. This one's full. This one I can put some stuff away. Put all these materials that I grabbed back for now single redstone that's that's very silly put some of this stuff in here i don't care all right i have some potatoes so i should still be all right i know i need grain i can get grain i can get grain look at this i've got a plan for grain i could probably oh i could make baguettes with rice why didn't i think about that was what i was originally planting that stuff for might as well do this anyway and hi, Ken. Yes, hi, Ken Butler. How's it going? It's a wall of drawers for my primary storage anyway. You know, I used to like that until I saw people like that, that like causing a lot of lag on servers. And it just, it left like this permanent distaste, like bad taste in my mouth. And since then, I just, I just haven't gotten back into it. There we go. Rice, rice, rice. Rice is nice. Give me the rice. Because uh, I think I can make baguettes with these. Uh, where is it? And I can also make... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, is it two of these? Two there. Or is it three? Ah, there you go. Rice dough. So we'll do that. And that. And then I cook the rice dough. And I think I get uh, baguettes. Which would be a great grain source that I had totally forgotten about. Jump up. It's a really nice way to do the metals. Compacting drawers for all the options with no need for pre-crafting. Yeah, that is nice. That is nice. There we go. Rice, rice dough. And then I'll take the rest of this uh, down here. And I will start planting a bunch more. I was originally going to use the blueberry plants, but oh well. And I've got more seeds. Here. I might as well finish planting these seeds around this edge. And I'm sure that I can use bread, just regular Minecraft bread, uh, making some of this stuff. Oh, well, the zone's out. Or he crashed or something. Who knows? That is what I do count. There are 100 garden closures. Here I come. 
Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, folks. <laughs> we've we've tested many evil things, many evil things. All right, so I just put my food in there so I can go, <laughs> and then I didn't I didn't run back up. I need to put an elevator a little bit closer over here now. I think this is just getting a little monotonous. Jump across. Reach in here. Oh, rice bread, not baguettes. Let, let's see what I have right now before I finish that. 23. What happens if you drop to zero in a nutrition bar? You get, like, slowness, uh, mining fatigue. It, it's unpleasant. <laughs> but it's you just eat some food and you're good. And turn off the displays on the drawers once you have them connected to the digital. Cut down on the lag. Well, the, the lag that it, it was before was... Um, that uh, when you accessed one that was connected to like a wall of stuff, even if it only connected to one uh, drawer, it would access all the all of the drawers. So it would do not just one block update if you're accessing something, it was accessing all of them. And it was this ongoing thing for the longest time. I don't know if, um, <laughs> I don't know if uh, uh, that was uh, ever fixed. I, I never really followed up on it, but Storage drawers does seem to be much more stable than it ever used to be, so no no issues there. All right, now I've got a bunch of wheat in my inventory too, and let's just let's just run over here and whoo, jump down to the mine. Okay, let's see what I can come up with. Server seems quite laggy tonight. Well, there, there's a lot of people on here. I still have it only set to reset once a day. I need to have it more than that. And I think people might be chunk loading, um, which I, I haven't been putting that in the notifications. That you, you shouldn't be chunk loading. So I blame myself for that. Uh, I did not say anything to people about that. I have acacia leaf blocks. <laughs> I'm supposed to bring a stack of cobble. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> You get negative buffs. Don't go that way. Wait, 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 where's the... Yeah, I've already gone this way. This isn't the way I wanted to go. That don't go away. Uh, oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. I mean, it it can be, but it really has to get low. And you'll notice, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, I just eat a little bit of food here and there. And it, it doesn't, like, just constantly go down either. I mean, this whole time, I've lost 2% fruit, maybe. You know, so it wasn't it wasn't that bad. All right, so <laughs> let's let's make a, a little tree path. <laughs> that isn't gonna go well. It's gonna be very bad. Uh, I I need I need some stone. L let's get some stone. Let's do this proper because otherwise I'm just gonna the the leaves are gonna degrade or catch on fire and bad things, very bad things. <laughs> Grab a little bit of this too. Grab this. Oh, that went into the. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so let's move this. Put the end of sight down. Walk over here, and we'll see about maybe making my way across because I see some redstone. I see some diamonds. Yeah. I don't have fire resist either, so uh, you know I'm going to end up in this lava. It's just something uh, something that lava and I have an understanding about. It's it's just going to happen. So, did you ever try to play Resident Evil 7, the best horror game ever? I don't know. Silent Hill 2 is pretty darn cool, man. <laughs> pretty darn cool. It's been fixed in later versions, though. Count. Valen is just not trusting them yet. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's just left a, a bad taste in my mouth, and ever since then it just kind of... Kind of hasn't been the same for me, but uh, I mean we've been using it on Lost Souls, and it's been a godsend more or less. So like I can't I can't complain about it. Nothing wrong with it at this point, uh, and it's probably a hell of a lot laggy than most item systems at this point. Come on, there we go. Ah, all right. Now I can mine up some of this tasty, tasty redstone that I am in desperate need of. 
Oh, come to papa. There's bees. Always bees. Bees, bees, bees. Killer bees, man. Killer bees. Here we go. Let's mine up some of this. Might as well grab some of these good ores while I'm here, too. You know how it is with mining runs. You're just like, oh, I can't. I can't just not do it. Can't not do it. Grab some of this. Found a bug in Tinkers. We lost all the Tinkers work tables in the chest holding all our nether ores, too. That was over three stacks of each. We could not figure why. What was it, Celtic? Peer pressure. <laughs> Should have brought a bucket of water. That's a symptom of bad player machine builds. They still cause trouble and cause even more trouble under some circumstances. Original Resident Evil was the best. They went downhill after the third game. Yeah, they totally changed the game uh, with that. Uh-oh, uh oh there, there goes a couple. All right, let's just do that. <laughs> Whoops. Lapis, come with me so that I can get more ores and stuff in the future with my magic tinker pick. Okay, and look, we've got Dilithium. I Captain. <laughs> I've got our Dilithium ready. We'll be good to go. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Sapphire. <gasps> Redstone. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, man. It's, I, I need the Sapphire. Why am I... Oh. Why, why no pick up? Come on. It's... I need to... I need it to land in my inventory. No! No! Why do you do that? Give, come here, stone. I need some stones. All right, let, let's put these back here, put the stones in place, and then I can potentially grab more of this sapphire that is right above my face. That wasn't sapphire, that was peridot and sapphire. Okay, I did get some more. Cool, good, good. Uh, now, redstone. Redstone. Be good. Don't don't go anywhere here, okay? Oh, it's rain and redstone. I need some stone to place, please. Thank you. I'm like desperate for building blocks. How pathetic is this that I'm I'm like? Oh, please, cobble, come here. I I need the stuffs. I still see that stuff over there, but I'll I will come back to it later. I have what I came for. Redstone and a few extra ores. I don't, I don't want to take the rest of the stream to, to mine that stuff. I know it's down here. Oh, good. I finally made it home. I need a laugh, and Valen is walking across lava. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Robin. <laughs> All right. Can I can I walk forward? Oh, this. The, where is it? I need to take this off. And there we go. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. <laughs> Sucks. I finally. It did ruin. Banning chunk loaders is treating a symptom, not the underlying disease. Got to teach players. Exactly. Chunk loaders, it's it's something for like a single player game in my, in my opinion. The fact that so many mods have chunk loaders in them is kind of annoying, really. FTB utils is in like every FTB mod pack, so therefore turning that off is not always a thing you can do too easily. That's the difference with me on small servers with friends and somebody who has to run a large server where anybody might show up at any skill level. Yeah, I mean, if you have uh, if you have a small group, you know, and, and people, you already know that they're not going to go crazy or something, then yeah, that's fine. Nice Scotty impression. <laughs> Actually, I thought it was one of my worst ones, but thank you anyway. <laughs> is immersive engineering included in this pack? Yes, it is, Jerry Blaze. Yes, it is. He'll forget to come back for it. <laughs> no, it'll just be gone when he, when uh, next stream starts. His small service is usually fine, but with large ones, it's a different story. Oh, that that's not entirely true. Small servers can have the same problem if people go absolutely nuts with it. And I've known people to do that, and it's through no fault of their own. They might not even know better. Uh, but let's get rid of some of these things in here. I just got that, that. Those are some good ores. What is this? Fluorite from Nuclear Craft. Ooh. There's the blocks I was looking for. Oh, the stone. Don't need it now, so let's put it in there. Put away that. Get rid of this. Okay, come on. Open this. Put away that. That. Oh, all this junk. Redstone. Oh, where have you been? So good to see you. Uh, and I have a little bit of lapis that I'm going to just kind of put on here for now. There we go. 
count. Even the best builds still cause lag, though. That's what we were avoiding. Yeah, a lot of mod makers actually don't realize they're like, oh, it's minimal mod, uh, you know, lag impact. I'm like, minimal or like absolutely practically none that you can find or anything? Because minimal means if somebody wants more than one of something, they're going to start spamming it because that is the nature of the Minecraft player. You don't build bigger, better machines. You just end up spamming a crap ton of the tiny ones. <laughs> That's just how it goes, as much as you might try. Sometimes people can can fix that stuff, but yeah, it, it, it's all... It's all a trading game. All right, so I didn't bring any of the materials that I need to continue with this to make leadstone flux. I need flux. I need lead, redstone, glass. Okay, need to make at least two more sets, which would be like 12 of my redstone, I think, uh, which I've got that. I just need a little bit of lead. One, two, come on, one, two. I should put these blueberries on my hotbar as well. Munch on those. Chunk loaded loading is needed to get massive amounts of stuff for late game mods, but it does suck for servers. Yeah, but I, I think that sometimes when people just like, oh, you were slain. Oh, dear. Uh, when people end up uh, just like, what do you call it? Where th their only goal is just to try and get as much of stuff as they can. It's like, where does that end? It, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't seem fun to me just to try and amass a massive amount of an item that you're not actually using. UU matter is something that could be used in a lot of different ways and can be cool in that way, but if you're not using it, I guess it's just an achievement. Sometimes some packs actually focus on that kind of play style and a lot of people carry that over into other mod packs So yeah, it, it it's it's hit and miss in my mind uh, So let's do some of these some of these I'm just messing this up right now because I think these go along the sides. I don't even remember. What is the uh, leadstone? Ah, I got it wrong way. Okay this way and I need glass uh, and I've got the lead on the wrong spots, I think. Yep, so I need a couple more lead. Uh, one, two. One, two, and glass. Because, uh, I mean, like, uh, if you look at, like, vanilla Minecraft players, a lot of the time just getting a large quantity of something is uh, an achievement. But I will say that a lot of uh, vanilla Minecraft players will do that so that they have that as a building material. Not a lot of modded players will use that as a building material. They just go, look, I've got a lot of stuff. So it's a lot more manageable in terms of teaching them and such. Can you not change the config of FTB utils to allow less chunks to be? You can, but sometimes it can be uh, pack breaking. But that leads right back to half-loaded situations. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure, why build a furnace generator when you can build 50 survival generators, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Time to get to top tier four times or our production mechanism. You don't even need it. It's true. Reminded of, reminded of Age of Engineering, where UU Matter figures fairly largely in its progression, or at least provides major shortcuts once you've obtained the resources in question at least once. So you wind up needing a lot of machines to keep the mass fabs fed and a lot of power going into them. Hmm. Um, all right, so I'm getting sidetracked. Glass. That is what I need. I think it's a mundane, there we go, item here. Grab some of this. One, two... One, two, there we go, perfect. And then I just grab all the redstone. Okay, now maybe I could try, do I have those covers? I don't see the covers. Because my inventory is crap again. And I put them in one of these chests. There's the covers, and the wood, and the slabs. All right, just pulling out some of the stuff that I don't need to have in there. There we go, back up top. Do you watch football? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. Uh, if there ever was a sport that I watched besides video games, uh, it would have been um, hockey because, uh, yeah, I was a Red Wings fan for a bit there. Not too, not too into it, but I did appreciate that and enjoy a bit of it. I hope I have enough here. I think I do. Let's see here. Two. Oh, I'm going to be one. <laughs> I, I'm, 
I'm one short. <laughs> oh, oh, so, so typical of me. All right, let's let's get a little bit of redstone. I'm gonna need more leadstone anyway. So or flux duct. So let's grab that one lead. Uh, it's gonna be two lead, isn't it? With the glass in the center. Talk on it. <laughs> two lead. There we go. Got it. You football. I think that some viewers are in the U.S. and some aren't. You need to qualify that. Yeah, that's true because uh, otherwise it's going to be um, uh, <laughs> football or soccer. It's called football here, uh, but in the States it's called soccer. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, all right, so let's put some, some covers down on this stuff here. Here, in fact, I can put one there, here. Am I going to have enough? I'm probably going to have to make more. I was I was expecting that was a possibility with this. Yep. So let's take one of these and one of those. Make six more. There. There. Oh, look at that. Oh, and look, we've got power. Oh, it's good. It's super good. Now I just put a slab down. Oh, bad placement. Bad placement. Can I get that? Yes. Put it down proper. There we go. All right. Placed and set. And then I can put this down for now. Good to go. And I could feasibly have this running all the way around. There we go. Ta-da! Our tree circle of life. <laughs> and this now has power. All right. So that means that the uh, solderer should start working because it, it requires power as well. At least the last I knew it did. Go Blackhawks. <laughs> Welcome to the world of DW20, Bill. And that happens to him all the time. Shorten the length of the cable you're using for the moment. It's a temp fix. <laughs> nah. Thanks anyway, Jerry. I used to think I was a Doctor Who fan. Then I met a real fan. Now I know I just have a small like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there are some hardcore Doctor Who fans out there. Only your life so you can just give yourself one. Speaking of needing to mine and collecting things, I need to start my DW20 game up so my quarry runs. Fair enough. Looks fine. Was wondering if you're planning to join the Twitch affiliate program. I don't plan on it at this time, Jen Sidefen. Uh, if only because then I won't be able to dual stream at the same time. I would have to stream on Twitch and then upload the stuff like the next day, 24 hours, something like that to YouTube. And uh, I, I think a lot of people appreciate that I can stream to both platforms currently, and that's what I'm trying to go for. But yeah, uh, I, I do understand the, the benefits of such, and I perhaps I can work something out in the future, but at the moment, I am not uh, planning on that. This is really cool. I'm really glad that that, that power system works. It's, it's not dire wire. <laughs> I can't dual stream if he does. Yep. Ah, okay, thank you. Oh, sorry, Spun Gaming. I, I have yet to put a, a bot back in. I, I had, I've gone through like three bots and I forgot to put one in again. So, my bad. Robin is a dire wire master. <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he's pretty good. He's, he's a Robin wire. He, he doesn't have dire wire. <laughs> so love Doctor Who. Is this a private game? This is a patron server. As everyone's saying here, all hail dire wire. That should be a mod. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I, th I think it's actually uh, in here, um, like Mr. Mead Seeks or something, or Mr. Me Seeks. Uh, I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, but I need more things. Okay, back to refined storage. Oh, that's right. I want a disk drive, which is going to require an advanced processor and a shell compressor. No, that's just going to be a chest of some sort. Yes, okay. Uh, an, ad an advanced processor, which is going to take a printed advanced processor, redstone, and a printed silicon. So I think printed silicon is just silicon and a solderer. And a printed advanced processor is diamond. Okay, so let me grab a diamond. And instead of bounce, oh, instead of bouncing, I'm just going to jump down here like that. Grab a diamond. And I've got silicon somewhere. No, I don't, because I did not make any. So... Hold on a second. Where did I put the... What was the silicon? It was quartz. I've got quartz. So I can put quartz in here. 
to make silicon, I'm, I'm used to having the climbing gloves on right now. Get that processing. Wait, actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put a, a few of those in there so I've got some more to run with. The cable gets more effective the more visible it is. <laughs> I build like Dar. I'll make it pretty later, then never do. <laughs> hello, Kefla the Real Saiyan. Saiyan. And hello, Hiragi Wasabi, our latest patron. And artist, I might say. That was a really cute picture you did, and not just because it was of my avatar. That was really cool. Direwire mod would take the code that grows chorus fruit, turns it sideways, and uses it for wires that grow randomly until they connect. <laughs> <laughs> I got bogged down trying to make it pretty before I make it functional and get stuck. Me creeps are adorable but annoying when they speak. Sorry, Dar. Thankfully, Robin, if you go into the configs, I asked this question of them because I said the same thing. You can go into the configs and turn off their volume so they don't talk anymore or, or change it to your heart's content like I have. Uh, my content of, of getting rid of that because <laughs> I can't stand it either and I don't mean to knock Dyer but yeah he um, he did the voicing for it which actually it doesn't sound anything like him so I got to give him credit it was really good but they're just really repetitive it, it, it's not his fault that they are hello star captain how's it going Speaking of which I'll add that to the site now Gotta scoot stepdad's home from work. I'm at mom's. He's gonna drive me home. See ya. Bye, Rowan. Bye. Compact and hidden. Ah, I think me creeps sound funny. I agree. I think they do. So let's go over here. Grab one silicon, please. Put that in the solder. Now I'm just using one. You could probably do this with several silicon uh, or s several solderers if you want, so that you don't need to go through this. But thank goodness you can mute me creeps. I was really leery of that mod being added to Enigmatica 2 because I was sick of them within minutes. <laughs> I've got to split and read up on health psyche. Ooh, have fun, Jesse, I guess. Let's put this here, here, here. Yep, I got it right. And if you ever want to see uh, the different recipes you can make on here, if you see here hovering over the arrow, you can click on there and you can see the different things you can make with it. Otherwise, you just use JEI on the side. You're like, well, what do I need to make next? Right now, a controller, some kind of solderer to make some parts, and I'm making a disk drive so that I can put disks in it, which I'm going to need a chest. Uh, I need a crafting grid on a stick. Yay! So I can make a chest. I hope it accepts an acacia wood one because that would be really crappy if it didn't. <laughs> I've got to uh, buy as much as possible. It's for class, for a class. Yeah, I kind of guessed it was uh, the way you were hinting there, Jesse. Good luck with that. Have fun. I hope you do at least. Uh, so, is this thing done? Yay! Advanced processor. Woo All right, now disk drive. I need to make a machine casing. I need stone. Crud! So close. I have everything but stone in my inventory. And where am I? In a treetop where I'm not going to have stone. That's the wrong chest. Uh, da, da, da. I've got some cobble. I don't remember if it's smooth stone or regular because I can never tell with this thing cycling through the stuff. Disk drive this. It's smooth stone. All right, well then, one of those. Empty that out. And we're going to try and do this. Hey, disk drive, get. Uh, now, I actually am going to go up and place it down before I make any disks because I just want to get more things out of my inventory, if at all possible. <laughs> there we go. And that is now connected, doing good. I probably need a status thing here. I, I want, I'm going to need a grid, crafting grid, a pattern grid, fluid grid, crafting monitor, storage monitor, security monitor, crafter. I don't want to go too crazy with this stuff just yet. Right now I just want to have storage. So. Let's look at the different disks. 1K. No. No, no. 4K. Not if I can help it. 16K. Now you're talking. 16K is where it's actually uh, starting to get a little bit worthwhile. It's it's better than a uh, uh, actually additions crate. Makes the chest require an iron ingot weights for it. <laughs> Do those crates keep their inventory when broken? Only if you put an upgrade in them that allows them to do it, and it'll only happen once. I will show that to you momentarily. 
64K storage is what I would really like to get. Or a creative one, what? That's crazy. But a 64K one will require a bunch of redstone, glass, and quartz, and rich iron, right? Not a problem. It's the 64K storage part that gets a little bit crazy. Advanced processors. I think I just made one of those. I did. So that's going to be four of those plus 16K storage parts. That'll probably take up all the rest of my diamonds, I think. But I would rather start going big <laughs> so that I don't need to upgrade later. Uh, I know it's going to take my remaining diamonds if I have any. Oh, guess what, folks? <laughs> Remember those diamonds? Guess what I'm going to go get? I'm going to go get me some diamonds. <laughs> it did take the chest. Surprise! They can. You have to put a crate keeper in them. Yes, that is exactly what it is. And then you break it with the crate, crate keeper in it. Oops. And um, then it'll let you pick it up. But there's also a diamond chest transporter. You can just use that instead. It's not the same mod, but that that is the thing. All right, let's grab my... Actually, I'm going to need the cobblestone first. I always use multiple smaller discs because I like larger server rooms. And I usually would like that, but in this case, I want to keep it compact because I, I want the rest of my base options to take up the space. All right, so I'm down here. Oh, oh redstone as well, and copper. Uh, all the goods, all the goods. Probably should be bucketing this stuff up. That's some deep lava. I think I'm all right for now. We're, we're just going to kind of create a little double bridge here. Yes, I am probably going to end up in the lava. It's just something that's going to happen here. Can I... So far, so good. Um, but I, I fear that this diamond is still going to land in the lava none, nonetheless. So let's start with the, the iron. Grabbing this stuff. Come on, come here. And what is this, lithium? I don't really care about that. Lead, though? I will probably need the lead. Come here. Get into my inventory. Thank you. This is a reason why I need to build underneath the, the diamond, because it's not just going to land in my inventory. It's going to fall. Oh, like one each. Wow. Wow. I feel punished. Did I already have some in my inventory, or did I actually pick up five? That That's actually really good. Now, let's see if there's any other diamonds nearby, just in case. I doubt that there is, but yeah, just checking. No. Okay. And head back, because I've, I've got some food. And here we go, some blueberries. Storage crate keepers are a bit odd, considering how relatively cheap they are. I sometimes wonder why I bother needing them. Yeah, it's just a convenience thing at that point, because honestly, you can make a, another storage crate cheaper <laughs> than you can a crate keeper that will only keep the crate for one use. <laughs> Yay, he remembered. It happens from time to time. <laughs> oh, hello there, Moonstone. Yes, yes. By the way, why not an elevator down to the mine? Well, that would defeat the whole purpose of having, like, the whole bridge and everything looking really cool. Besides, I, I kind of like the immersive bit of it. Uh, I also don't think I've uh, mined far enough back to go straight down yet. I saw a moonstone in the wall. Why, yes, you did. I count from zero. Saturday's not got enough wool. No, I could easily get enough wool, though. I, I, I do have a lot of, like, there's sheep right there. I have plenty of sheep nearby. So just turn it in on the configs, and then crates will always keep their inventory. Yep. So take it. Mechanism is bugged in this pack, or its machines just lag out the server? Mechanism in general lags out the server, because people don't stop once they start with mechanism. They, they will put down 10, 15... 200 of those uh, windmills, they'll build a reactor. A single reactor can lag out a server. Uh, they will have a, a series of like their machines just to get ore tripling. That has been known to lag out servers. It, it just, it's a laggy mod. I've responded to the mechanism team. I've shown them uh, videos, pictures, evidence, all sorts of stuff. And they actually got really upset with me about it. I was just reporting what I had found, and they just started saying that I was lying. So I just was like, I, I don't want to get into it. I gave you the information. It's up to you guys what you want to do with it. Uh, but at this point, it's just a matter of uh, manners on the server. There's tons of other mods to explore in here. 
And the the last big mod pack that we had, uh, Radon, had a, a mechanism in it as well. So the windmill don't lag at all. It is just what they are powering that does it. <laughs> yeah, just just don't. Just just don't. We're, we're, we're trying to be nice on the server and uh, trying to, to stay away from mechanism. It is required to get some things, in which case I'm fine with people using the machine to build that item and then not using the machine anymore. That's cool. Uh, I mean, we're just trying to be nice to each other on the server so that nobody gets lagged out and nobody wants to play on the server anymore. Because that's what tends to happen sometimes, is the lag stuffs. The lag stuffs. I did have the diamonds on me. So that's all my diamonds. But I do have one more now. So that that's that's a thing. That's good. Head in the sand denial is really sad to hear about. Well, I think it was just a misunderstanding. They might have had somebody else really get to them. I, I'm trying to, to just be positive about the whole thing. Uh, so it, it's up to them. Yeah, I know. I was just talking about the times three setup. I wasn't talking about the times five. Times five is is with that whole salinity tower. No, I'm not. I'm not talking that. I was just talking your string of machines to get times three. That rabbit's in a glass cage, and every time I log in, at least one to two rabbits are running free. <laughs> well, that's actually very entertaining. Not interested in mechanism anyway. Well, that's good to hear, Haragi. Thank you. Their ore miner is really good. Yeah, a lot of their stuff is really cheaty, but it, it also tends to lend itself to not want to use other mods. And it it's... Oh, man. I'm going to actually have to agree with Slowpoke in the fact that Mechanism, I think, is um, a mod that's best with vanilla and some add-on utility mods. I, I don't think it really needs a lot of other mods for it to be as playable. Maybe something like an adventure-style mod added on, but in itself, it has so many options, and it makes so many other mods obsolete in its uh, simplicity often that... Um, they just aren't worthwhile. People are like, ah, that mod sucks. When no, it's just in comparison, it's just this other stuff is infinitely cheaper and infinitely better in use and practicality. So it, it, it can be a bit difficult to try and balance that. Yeah, the digital miner is really cool. That is really cool. There's a lot of neat stuff in there. That's for sure. So let's see. Uh, I have... Uh, okay, needing to make one of these. I need four advanced processors. So that's going to be four diamonds in here. That's going to take a bit of time. And I'm going to need some four... Oh, wait, wait, did I get the... Uh -huh, look at this. I got, I got some silicon already going. I'm going to pop in a bit more silicon here. In fact, let's do seven more because that's what I ended up separating out. Uh, so I've got more silicon being made times three on a server with crops. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Both of us are laughing now, Bill. <laughs> the digital miner is probably my favorite thing for mechanism. Builder can do some of what the miner can, but not all. Mm -hmm. It's the lag blood rose entities get loaded first. They move into the glass blocks and the blocks load and they can escape. I just want to build a city. If chisel or another block mod is there, we are golden, basically. <laughs> I'm all, I'm a fan of that. Make the pen a little larger and you might have them escape less often. Mech, Rotary Craft, Greg Tech, all mods that full convert and work nice alone. It's true. It's true. Immersive engineering even works really well with vanilla if you think about it. It has some very powerful tools in it and it has some very, what in the heck? Why does this require so much freaking iron or steel or something like that? Think about it. If it's vanilla that it's compared to, it's tremendous and very strong uh, with some of those things in there. But uh, when you compare it to something like, let's toss down a quantum quarry from Extra Utilities instead of building that massive, uh, you know, quarrying structure that it has, it's it's just actually a lot cheaper to go immersive engineering, <laughs> or no, not ex uh, Extra Utilities, something like that, just for comparison's sake, or even. RF tools. I mean, you can really just like destroy things with RF tools, really. Really. <laughs> All right, there's those. I'm going to need one, two, three, four of those made up. Uh, so let's see. Two person local nut, aka in the house server. There should not be any lag. Like I see two. 
It's loading a lot of mobs, single player. Digital Miner is great, but it's kind of a killer for progression. I think Immersive Engineering is the only mod that came close to an inter interesting auto miner. I agree. And it's it's it still requires you to move it around or something too for you to actually get a selection of of ores. Hello, Mike. Hi, James. MCS Hosting is an upcoming Minecraft server hosting company with prices in mind, and we would like to partner with you, partner you with our company by creating a Minecraft server free for you. James, if you have any business inquiries, on stream is not the place to do so. I recommend you send us an email uh, at any of the links or information in the description below, uh, as uh, we don't think that it's the best time to talk about business while people are currently trying to entertain their audience. But I appreciate the interest. Who needs machines or quarries when you have a draconic staff? Oh, go away, my, Go away. <laughs> Is a real nice mod. Immersive Engineering is a fantastic mod. I agree. It is a really good mod. I, I, I have enjoyed that quite a bit. I might go back to it on my next play or something. We'll see. Uh, personally, like the IE excavators first because they don't need esoteric resources, just lots of steel. They do produce lots before you need to move them, and you know what you're getting. Also, Immersive Engineering is just a f lot of fun visually, though I'm sure it's not as nice on servers. It can be a bit laggy, and people can get a little carried away with some of the uh, use of it, but it is very cool and fun to actually build an immersive engineering base. Just ask Robin, because <laughs> he is very familiar with it. All right, so 64K, he, he always goes with water wheel power in a, almost every base that he's done. 16K storage parts, which is going to be a bunch of gold ones. So I'm going to need, I need gold. Uh, I, need, I need me some gold. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to need more of those, uh, these things here, printed silicons. So let's just toss in the rest of those, because I'm going to need those. And I'm going to toss in a bunch more of that. It, it's just something that's going to be needed. Definitely going to be needed. Okay, I will do that for you. Thanks, James. Immersive of Engineering 2, I look seeing the structures. No worries, it's frustrating. Wait, what? Did I throw my bread out? What the, what the what? It's windmills for this one till I took them down to move base. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have them in your little cube. Why I admit you killed Choker Bro the third and all will be forgiven. <laughs> like a slow semi-manual one. I think it's it's too he's not gonna do it at this point. It it's been built up too much. Alright, so that is gold. Alright. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, five, I don't know, is it how many per? I need three of those. Each one's made with four. So that's going to be 12. Oof. Okay. Let's put this back. Those are going to need to be made. Um, 16K storage, which is going to be a bunch of 4K storage parts. And this is more yeah, gold and printed silicon. Got it. All right. 16K storage parts made up of 4K storage parts, which is basic processors, which is printed basic processor, which is iron. All right, so I need to get some iron and some gold going. This is where having multiple solderers is going to be actually helpful. <laughs> um, but let's see. So 1K storage parts are just a bunch of silicon. All right, so I am going to go put in a bunch more uh, silicon and iron and gold and all the things and the stuff. How's this doing? Oh, they're done. Cool. So let's put in the gold. And how's this doing? We've got more silicon. Perfect. And I've got some iron. I could make another solderer, but I, I really don't want to spend the resources on it. I have one. It's fine. I could get some speed upgrades is what I could do. Uh, so let's check out some speed upgrades. I'm going to need an upgrade housing. <laughs> We're just going to need gold. And quartz and rich iron. It, it's worth it to at least make one in my mind because the, it does really speed it up. Uh, so let's see, what was it for just the housing? Because I think the ingredients you put inside of it is, is cheap. Dang it, where'd it go? There it is. Upgrade. So that, wait, that's a, that's it? Okay, so I have everything. I just need some glass, which I have some glass in my inventory. I can make that. I can make that right now. I am going to need one more gold for this speed upgrade that I'm popping in here. I'm sure some people don't like environmental tech because it's producing materials from nothing, especially with how crazy good the solar panels get. But it seems like it's one of the best low-impact ways to get resources. Yeah, that's cool. I am totally a fan of that. Uh, I, I like low-impact uh, mods, especially. 
Hey, early game, waiting for stuff to smelt sucks. Eh, it just gives you opportunities to do other stuff. Oh, I forgot. That's where you click on stuff. You can see the 3 FE, 0 FE. So I currently am barely using any power at all. It's <laughs> oh, pretty good. All right, this. Can I make this? No, because I need to actually make this other thing first. Oh, I'm going to take this out. We'll wait for this one to finish. Come on. There it goes. And then I'm going to put one and two. Come on, get in there. Three. There we go. And we'll make this. And what other ingredients do I need for a speed upgrade? Sugar and redstone. I'll go get a piece of sugar while that's making itself. You lost me. It appears to be expensive to get into refined storage. Yeah, it, it is a little bit to get into. I did make a... Um, uh, a guide for refined storage if you're interested. It's a three-part series. Uh, refined storage made easy, I think is what I called it. <laughs> That's being a bit cheesy there. But um, it, it's well worth it in the end. It keeps all your inventory in a very small space. And that's the whole point in my mind. So, And it does it very simply. It's very easy to use after that. It's just the crafting of the parts are a bit of a rabbit hole. But not as bad as like jetpacks can be. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to watch the stream if you want to watch the tutorial, but then again, you might get might give you opportunity to actually play along at the same time if you want, because the tutorial can go a bit faster than you can make stuff at times, and it also depends on the amount of resources that, you'll, that you have at hand. That's on YouTube and Mixer. Wait, what? Why do I? No, we're on Twitch. Industrial foregoing laser drill for similar reasons. Found stream and I caught it. Someone pinch me. Oh my, yes please, pinch, thank you. You can shift click the ingredients onto the solderer. Yep. Refined storage is way cheaper than AE, yes. And I, I personally think it's a lot easier because you don't need to go hunting meteors and then fighting other people for those parts. <laughs> Careful about refined storage is that it's downright sluggish without using speed upgrades. Eh. To each their own. I understand that. I mean, you, that's yours. Uh, I, I think, yes, it is slow, but it encourages you to learn to upgrade the machines as well. Such a nice change, wasn't it? So there's more emphasis on those upgrades, whereas AE2 can perform reasonably well with fewer upgrades on most things. Ah. Yeah, that is so true. Having two screens side by side helps on following a video. <laughs> All right, let's grab this. I've got the improved processor. So now I should be able to make... Uh, the frame, the upgrade frame. Boop. There we go. And then I take, where is the speed upgrade? This. So I'm going to need sugar, redstone, and upgrade. So as they said, yes, I can just actually click on here. Let's see if I can find that frame again. Where is the speed upgrade? And I could just click. And it puts all the things in there for me. And then I can put that directly up here. And we can continue smelting the stuffs and the things. And it should go much faster at that point. And you can put, I believe, four of them in here. And I think you can also put other upgrades as well. But I think just the one speed upgrade is well worthwhile, if not two. I can't remember what I recommended if it was one or two. Hello, Boomflex. How are you this evening? I'm good. Let's put this up here. And now if I put my gold in there, that should be much faster. Eh. Not as fast as I was hoping it would be. I think I need two speed upgrades in order to make that worthwhile. But I think it is just about having the speed on it, though. So that's that's something. The solderer, the interface, and the I.O. port are where I really feel the pain with refined storage, especially the latter two. Well, think of it this way. The more speed upgrades you, you put in these things when they're not doing things by themselves... Um, if it's causing some kind of lock update, then it just creates that much more uh, lag or something like that on a server. So I can understand the fact that it takes an additional investment. And if you're fine with it being a little bit slower and still being convenient to use, then more power to you. And in this case, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking I might just make myself another speed upgrade because this this is taking a bit. And I don't want this to be all stream of just watching this thing. <laughs> pleased to hear you're well. I'm pleased to hear that you uh, added a new person to your crew. I saw the announcement about Sheridan. 
He's pretty geeked about it. Sounds like you guys got some stuff, perhaps, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, that you, you have in mind. And even if you don't, I, I'm sure you guys, well, you've got a good guy on your team now. So that's that's cool. For those that don't know, Boomflex is uh, part of the all the uh, mods crew that made this mod pack that I'm playing on right now, uh, which is totally awesome. Let's put these in here, these up here. These in here. I don't have enough redstone. I'm going to need to go mining again. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I'll go put some lapis on my pickaxe while I'm waiting for, for it. That's probably not a bad idea, so I can get a little bit more redstone in the process. Indeed, I'm not going to say that RS shouldn't exist. Alternatives are good. And there's always acceleration ones. Oh, oh, the acceleration ones. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a cheaty stick. Oh, don't get me started on that. All right. Uh, oh, I do have another redstone. Woohoo! That, that's still just a start, though. I'm going to need more than that. Is there a Mr. Meeseeks mod? I, I think there is, yes. Solders in the interface is really easy to automate nowadays. I want a servant that can do just one task. Well, yep, there you go. It's the, the mod is out there. In a way, that's what makes me sad about the attitude. Some members of the community can show about mods doing something similar Example, anyone doing a witchcraft mod is probably going to draw fire for ripping off witchery, even if they use all their own assets and codes. But then they're just copying the same mod. Uh, I, I think people should take the, the experience that they have and the things that they're learning and put it towards something more original, something that they would enjoy doing, perhaps inspired from, uh, rather than I'm going to copy this and use the same things and change one item about it or something, even if they made it themselves. I think it would be much uh, better for themselves and their own growth if they were able to uh, perhaps, you know, branch out, <laughs> so to speak. Oh yeah, so, so happy that he joined. He has been brought on board specifically to work on our 112.2 expert pack alongside Sarath and Nuts and Bolts, who joined silently a couple of months back. Yeah, I saw that announcement too. That looks good. I think that you're going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of people interested in that one. The expert packs get a lot of attention. Easiest way to not have trouble with solder speed is to use interfaces as buffers. Hmm. Just keep processors in buffer. But witchery isn't using all original concepts either. It's true, but it, it's a relatively unique mod in itself. And that's why I was saying, you know, go with something inspired by. You know, perhaps you take some similar things from it, you things you learned from, from coding that, and, and make your own mod instead of remaking the same mod, um, especially one that uh, the mod owner did not make public for people to use or to copy. So eh, I'm kind of iffy on that on that aspect. It all depends on how the mods turn out when they're done. People might be copying it to learn it and then changing things up. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm trying not to trying to reserve judgment. On it. It's difficult. It's difficult. Thought along your embers walkthrough and loved it. Sad that all the mods 3 downsized the energy storage on the ember crystals. Needed the floating crystal for a build, but they stay small. Downsized the energy storage on the ember crystals. Oh, well, yeah, it happens. Sometimes, you know, mod packs end up getting things changed in the configs just for uh, better working with other stuff. Always be original in short. Yeah, or try to be. I've got a friend making a magic tech mod that's crystal themed steampunk. That sounds awesome. We will be rolling out the betas to our favorite content creators as soon as we have something tangible. Sounds great, Boomflex. Expect to hear from us. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not talking about copying the mechanics. It feels a bit like embers, but lasers and diamonds instead of clay and clouds of power. I age, Fallon. I'm sure you meant to agree. <laughs> and hello, Adara and Christine. I don't think I said hi to you earlier. Life is some similar for a similar mod, sometimes, for instance, refined storage makes a lot more sense to me while I find applied energistics complicated for the sake of complexity. Mm, yeah, yeah. And hi, Gretchen. I don't think I said hi to you either. I'm just saying that anyone who comes up with a witchery mod, even if it plays quite different from witchery, will inevitably be accused of ripping it off. Quite possibly true, especially if they call it witchery. <laughs> <laughs> Fanboys get territorial. It's just life. We don't change embers. I don't believe. It might just be you didn't put enough in there, or thing, or the mod got changed when it got um, carried forward through versions. Uh, it might not be a, a config a conflict config change in embers at all. Fanboy. 
I always put my processors into a 2x2 two two drawer with a downgrade in them to keep a stack in stock. It's worked out well for me so far. External storage on an interface and an auto crafter on the solder. Nah, that's all right. I don't want to go that far. I, I have one redstone right now. So I'm, I'm making minimum stuff right now. I don't even have a crafting uh, grid yet, which I need a regular grid for that. A destructive core. Oh, I'm going to need more redstone. I, I should just go downstairs and, and start getting redstone because this is... I may be able to make that disc, but I, I just... I didn't take my own advice. I need a lot of materials, and redstone was something I did not have uh, very much of in this case. Let's just do that. There we go. Get that last one going. We can start making that disc itself, and I'll go get some more redstone in the basement. Do I have any more? No, I don't. I should empty my inventory before I go, though, just so I have some space for the ores that I find. Uh, wrong chest. I need to continue working on Ethereal Forge. Have fun with that, Ken. That sounds fantastic. Put this stuff up here. This in here. These in here. And I've got some wood to put away. Uh, covers. Grab some cobble so that I've got some. I only want a half a stack. Thank you. And put away the glass. Covers. Leadstone. Ugh. Man, I can't wait to get this thing up and running. Um, so let's grab my backpack, put away some things, put away the wheat, and the potatoes, because I've got my rice bread going on here. Put down that, and I'll keep this off the hotbar too. No need to have that around. This. There we go. It's on. Put it in my bobble slot, and away we go down into the mines, and perfect timing, I'm hungry already. Restrictions and complexity can lead to interesting builds that solve it, but I do get bored of doing it eventually. Hmm. Witchery doesn't have anything past 1710 publicly released, or does it seem that the original mod author intends to update the mod past 1710 release? So what's the fuss here exactly? Well, the fuss here uh, that I am aware of is that uh, the original uh, mod maker of Witchery is um, Emanif. And MNF has made other mods as well, but it's not on a public license. And then MNF stopped responding to uh, people's emails, texts, whatever. Uh, more or less what people are saying is that he dropped off the face of the earth. Instead, he just kind of just stopped modding as far as I'm aware. Um, and uh, he didn't give public permission for people to copy the mod. So therefore... Uh, People have tried asking if they could like get the code and uh, up upping it to the next uh, level. You know, like getting it up to 110 or 111 or 112 or something. And uh, people have been trying to do that, but they they haven't been able to get his permission, and he hasn't given permission. So therefore, people kind of stuck with that, and they they got a little bit upset. And then they accused him of like being selfish and stuff. And it's like, well, it was his mod. He put the restrictions on it. He made it. He put all the time and effort into it. Eh, he can do with it as he pleases. He's still leaving it out there for people to play is the thing, though. And I think that's awesome that he's still leaving it out there. And if he doesn't want to, or maybe he did fall off the edge of the earth. Maybe he passed away and uh, people are getting upset over no reason. But there was a lot of people that have started making copies of uh, the mod uh, or what they're calling inspiration. But then they, they just make their own artwork and it does the same exact thing. You know, uh, or they've programmed and made the code themselves, but it's exactly the same item, really. You know, it, it does the same thing, etc. Um, so I, I take issue with the fact that people are just going against his specific instructions and being nice about it. But at the same time, if they learn from it, uh, you know, they aren't trying to make a quick buck. I'm, I'm kind of of two minds of the whole thing. So, eh, we'll see. I, I need, I need, well... Lead is nice, too. I need some redstone. I really need some redstone. Please. I'll grab some silver while I'm here. That's why I think having multiple mods doing similar things is healthy. Eventually, you just end up using more resources, making a huge central processor, and putting things through a backbone as P2P links. Not, oh, someone did a back one seven ten, so nobody else should ever do the same thing. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. And if, if the mod author, if Eminif decided, you know what, I'm just going to yank this thing right off of here, he can do that because he, he put that license out there. I, I don't think he would at this point, but he could. Um, 
it'd be kind of a, a, a rude thing to put it out for the public to use and then rip it off again because you know then all the people that put time and effort into like making mod packs based around it would kind of be screwed but at the same time it's within his rights to do so it's just that uh, you should take these things into mind before you put out public use mod packs you know if you're going to just like rip it off there or something but yeah there's a lot of that been going around lately with like the the Ellison mods and uh, other things of that nature and I, th I don't I, I just I'm just here to have some fun uh, I just want to have some fun playing some games and if if stuff goes well then great if people learn and I can teach them a little bit about Minecraft then I, I call it a good day so I have used up all my torches no, I didn't. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. I was worried there for a second. Let's put some torches down. We've got tin. Bleh. Balance staring in dances with lava. Oh. <laughs> I actually hit that bat. Oh, hello. I didn't see you. I have just been, like, going nonstop monologuing here. I am sorry about that, folks. I'm all talking about fun. When, in fact, I'm I'm kind of, like, just rattling on about, like, mod politics. And this, I, I, it's the last thing I want to get into is mod politics. Oh, my gosh. There's so many mod. There are so many mobs. Get out of here. I'll just aim it at this guy. That didn't work. Getting out of here. I just want I just want these ores. Thank you. Take, take the ores. More of the sapphire. More sapphire. Um, I, I need a light. Can't see. You guys got any redstone down there? Is this redstone? No, that's magnesium. Is there some redstone down here? No, that's the stuff I mined out already. So let, let's head this way. Oh, grab the iron. Need the iron. Skunk, that's why I pointed to fanboys and cursing at them. <laughs> Mice just want to have fun. That's right. So I'm going to make a little mischief, maybe, on occasion, by accident. Shooting off my big mouth when I shouldn't be at times, but I, I try to apologize if I can if I if I upset people, uh, or I say things improperly, which sometimes happens. And that's why I, I try to give people chances as well because I know I make mistakes. Oh dear God, do I make mistakes? Just ask Kashka. <laughs> she knows. Come on, Redstone, get in my inventory. Okay, we got we got some redstone. What is this stuff? R R R R so it's probably like helps. It probably doubles as redstone or something like that. And I could use it to like automatically grow redstone for for what uh, all I know. <laughs> Put this down. Put down a little bit over here. No, this isn't working right. Let's do this. I hear a skeleton nearby, and I I, I don't want any part of that. Go. Go away, Skelly Bob. No. Put this here. Hot stuff. Monologues make mining fun to watch. <laughs> of course, if you get into the lava, it becomes fun. Yay, everybody gets hot tub. Almost deflected that arrow into the spider. <laughs> have you played Stick Ranger? Nope, can't say I have. You're allowed to have an opinion. Well, true. I suppose... So, Ellen, how do you feel about copyright on things like Batman lasting for almost 100 years now? I don't even have an opinion on that. That's... I don't even know. You might as well talk about Spider-Man on it, too. <laughs> I don't see any redstone in here. I, I just want to... Oh, was that... Did I see through the block into some redstone? That would be good if I did. Let's get a little bit of this cobble so I have more building materials here. Can I put some here? Oh, that's diamond. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right. Oh, did I come out the other side? I think I came out the other side. I hear I hear bad guys. Oh, it's that spider friend. All right, he's dead. And there's that spider, or the uh, skeleton that I saw earlier. Get out of here. Dude. So rude. Oh, 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 oh. The, the, it's the ruby stuff. Oh, this stuff's good. It's it's not redstone. Uh, don't get me wrong. It, it's not redstone. But um, there we go. That's a little better. Put this down too. 
Uh, it, it allows me to repair my shield, and it gives me sharpness on the shield, which is better for killing things. Come on, just... Alright, fine. Walk into my shield and die. I missed the pick from Thongcraft. Well, it's out. It's for 110. Go play. Uh, I've got a video going out tomorrow for it. <laughs> there we go. Got the last of that. Uh, that's magnesium. Some more nickel. I've got bees. I've got diamonds I need to get here. Let's just grab some of these. Grab a bunch of diamonds. That'll replenish my diamond stock. That's good. That's real good. No, oh, that's that's lava. That's bad. That's real bad. <laughs> I just need to get out of there. Come here, rubies. Oh, you're so good. You're so good to me. And look, I've got resonating redstone. Get out of it. Get out of here. I don't want that string. Put this down. Oh, lead. I need lead. And I'll take some silver because I think... Do I have any silver? Thought I harvested silver. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Well, I'm going to grab this. Defaults 100 years after the creator's death. Ugh. Wow. Hey, it... There was a time that I thought that copyright meant that you you could nobody could copy your stuff ever. And then I learned that that was not true. <laughs> and it kind of got me a little bit depressed. Uh, but at the same time, eh. Well, say lovey, what you going to do? Everybody wants to have things their way. I've got 28 redstone. That's That's pretty good. That might be able to get me through this next area that I need to get through. Let's just climb up here across. That's just lead and silver. I'll take some of that. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Getting more of this. I don't need all that stuff. I see you, zombie. I see you. Let's just get up here. Uh, climb up. Yay for the climbing gloves. Making life a lot easier, that's for sure. Okay, now to try and find my way back. I think... Oh, really? Get. No. Get. Get. Please, and thank you. I should eat some bread, because I was already eating my bow just there. <laughs> Fortune luck on the pay. I have a little bit. I, I have uh, a little bit. Almost, uh, like... The first level of, of, of luck. But I have at least a little, so I have some benefit to it. Let's see if I can get around here. Let's make a little bit of a walkway through here. Put this there. There we go. Kind of expand this out a little. So it's not quite so precarious on the way back. Down, because you know I'm coming back down here. There we go. I, I think that was a pretty good run. I got more diamonds. I got more redstone. Got some other weird things that I have no idea what to do with. But hey, I got them nonetheless. Right click that. <laughs> it's so weird that it goes in any... Really? It's still on? I turned you off. There. All right. There we go. <laughs> Nickel is normally something I'd be grabbing as fast as I could. Yeah, I should be, but I, I did not. For Invar, yeah, I, I actually, I'm wearing Invar stuff because I've got so much Invar. Because I actually started grabbing Nickel as fast as I could when I first saw it. I used to love Constantine as a sword blade. These days I'm all demon ingots. Are there any bags that go in the bauble slot? Probably. Probably. Does anyone know what Zoomerang does in enchantment? Zoomerang is used on the extra utilities to uh, Boomerang, the magical Boomerang. It's an enchantment on there. Uh, I can't remember what effect it has. I think it might just go faster or further. Uh, I can't remember. Not that I've seen. Zoomerang is Boomerang only enchantment. Yep, makes move faster. There you go. Bill, is it not working to click the glove in the bauble slot? Was working for me. Really? Because when I did it before... Ah, oh, I did it on stream the other day and it didn't work. Well, mm, it's working now. Cool, thank you. That, that's a little quality of life item there. All right, so I've got the stuff and the things. Let's see about getting this stuff out of here. There we go. There we go. And we got more of these. 
we're going to need to process. Actually, while I've got them, let's toss this in here. Is auto output on? There we go. We'll just enable that. That should go straight into there. That might get me ugh, a little bit of nickel. <sighs> okay, I have silicon, but I need more silicon. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's toss some more in there. Because I'm going to need some of this turned into the um, these thingies uh, that they get turned into. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Thanks, Room Valen. Uh, wait, right click me. Thank you. Found a book in one of the desert dungeons. Nice. I'm off. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you later, Gen C. What's the handle material on the tools? Sapphire. That's why I was so excited to see more sapphire, because it's actually pretty good. Um, it, it gives a good durability and aqua dynamic, so I can use these underwater. Um, so it was a really good thing that I didn't need to pour with a smeltery at the time. And I had like about a dozen of them. So I just put it on the handle of several of my tools. And it's been really good so far. Especially when you can use things underwater. Oh, that's so nice. I've got rotten flesh to get rid of here. Pleh. All right, what is this rhodocrosite? Crushed rhodocrosite, yes, okay. And the use for that is to make crystal binder. The use for that is to make elite plating. The use for that is to make fission controllers, fusion cores, superconducting electromagnets. Wow. I don't think I'll have the opportunity to go into nuclear craft on this playthrough, so I'm, I'm probably not going to use that. I don't know why I'm keeping it, but I am. Just toss that in there, that in there. It's nice getting the re resonating redstone, though. I will have to admit that. Oh, and I've got more lapis. Let's put that straight on the pick. Boop. And that puts me up to... Oh, up into the next area. I'm still luck one, but uh, it, it does boost me past the original bar. You can see that my shield, which is made from uh, rubies, which gives... Um, Oh, what is it? Uh, sharpness. It gives a sharpened effect, so it actually is a pretty good offensive uh, item. Is nice. Is nice. I'm considering uh, making a sword blade, which actually, let's do that right now. Might as well make the sword blade. Where is it? There it is. From the rubies to, should make that. That's, that's an attack of 6.4. This is 6, so I think this is probably going to make my sword a little bit nicer, plus it'll give it a sharp bonus. Whereas the bone, I think, is already on the handle. Oh, it has sharp on it. Oh, no, that's what it's going to get from this Bloody Mary. <laughs> Wait. Deals bonus damage depending on the amount of health already lost by the target. Also a chance to drop a coagulated blood for each hit. Interesting. Yeah. Hitting an enemy leaves them bleeding for a short time. Yeah, I like that. So maybe we do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Uh, making things bleed. That sounds fun, right? Attack goes to 9.9 .9 from 6. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, I'm a fan of that. That That's cool with me. <laughs> Hello, Boku Kira 33 Complexity sake. Let's call him Alice. Yeah, it's one reason I don't like to play with them. You are spending an hour or more just to do one task. Yeah, I'll probably do a little bit more, like maybe off camera or something like that, because there's a lot of smelting involved. But at this point, y you see the rabbit hole that is the uh, the 64k. I could have made a 1k by now, which yeah, I, I probably should have just finished that and get a disc in there. But I really just don't want to make more discs, so I'm going to be making a 64k, and I'll, I'll probably smelt up all these little 4ks and so on. Uh, just to finish things off so and this is it it's making that it did it, it made the things grab those two as I'll put this stuff here in there silver lead copper just dump them all in and they get processed it's good <laughs> I'm so addicted to the double jump with the long sword what oh the little gotcha yeah actually I'm pretty addicted to the double jump from Thalmcraft it's really good with the sky sky Jumper ring, I think it is. Skyskipper ring or something. Skywalker ring. <laughs> I have a class at school that teaches government and civilization using Minecraft. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. I know that I'm listening to Before Bed tonight. <laughs> Next to a level up mossy to get back your durability because of how rare rubies are. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. 
But then I don't typically swing my sword either. I, I have not, I don't think I've repaired this or needed to repair it. I have repaired it, but I don't think I needed to repair it yet because I typically just block. Mending on the shield, on the other hand, would probably be a really good idea. Oh, there is a cosmetic armor slot. Oh, I missed that. Mm-hmm. There we go. Much better. Now you can see me hitting myself in the face with a little red sign. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Mossy is in Tinkers. It's a little bit different. It works more like uh, mending. It takes some XP that you gain and uh, will slowly over time repair the uh, tool. Um, the higher the level, the more it can store at once. Uh, but it, it does have to, I believe, be in your inventory, if not on your hotbar. Or are you wearing it? I think it just needs to be in your inventory. I can't remember. Ten levels and you click the moss on a bookcase. Yep. Longsword combined with the slime boots can make you jump pretty damn high if you need to. <laughs> 2.30 and I'm watching. Dedication. Oh, that is really good. Uh, that, that Actually, that's a good point, Limey. I, I need to kind of finish this at this point. I'm not going to have enough to finish, or enough time in order to finish the 64k storage module but basically it will store 64,000 items in it and that is the whole point because right now let's do some minecraft math all right students what do we have in a crate we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen by one two three four five six seven eight nine by nine that's 117 stacks of 64, which is 7,488. 64K storage is 64,000. But here's the big difference is that the crate, this is just being a, a, a small crate, mind you, a, a bigger crate doubles that and, and the biggest one is triples that. But uh, the um, 64K crate is of any and all items. They don't have to be in stacks. It's just individual items. Whereas a crate is limited by the amount of uh, stack size. So therefore, external storage uh, with something like that is not as efficient as it could be with using like a 64K storage. Um, not to say that you can't do that. And I have easily used the crates many times uh, with a refined storage setup. But in this case, I'm just compacting everything into one little tiny disk and I can take my entire inventory with me. Thus allowing me to also make a wireless uh, little little grid that I could take, a wireless crafting grid right there. Then I could take my entire inventory with me on the go everywhere. It, it's beautiful. It's, it's just amazing, folks. <laughs> Except in the face, you're so goofy. <laughs> Thanks, Gretchen. Tutorial for Mischief of Mice banner. Wanted in my YouTuber room. All right, well, Limey, I could tell you what it is. You need a daisy. You need a bunch of, um, uh, or it's an oxide daisy. You need a bunch of, uh, uh, what is it, bone meal, a bunch of ink, and a black banner, I believe it is. And actually, I have one over here. Uh, whoop. I've done it on stream before. Or no, I've done it on a vlog before. But uh, let's see, where are they? Are they in one of these chests? There they are. Uh, yeah. There's the re recipe for it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But you put the uh, the banner in here. You give it a stripe across of... Um, you put the black banner down here. You give it a, a diagonal stripe across of uh, bone meal. Diagonal stripe across of bone meal the other way. Then you put it in here with some bone meal... One piece of bone meal and the oxide daisy to give it like a central area. Uh, then you put a stripe of ink across the bottom. Then you put it in the middle, and you put uh, a diamond shape of bone meal around it. And then you put it in the middle, and you put ink all around it. And there you go. That should be the Mischief of Mice banner that you see here that you can also put on shields. Uh, your regular vanilla shields. It won't work on Tinker shields, of course. But there you go. <laughs> Wireless crafting grid for me. Oh, Ralph stole it. Oh, did he? Oh, hi, Real Password. How's it going? <laughs> something you totally wouldn't risk without keep inventory no no i i probably would i probably would do that still it's just that uh 
it, it allows me to currently keep my inventory around with me if I want. And when I get back to base, if I need to, otherwise I'm, I plan on keeping it here. But I can always keep a small storage with me and I can switch out the disks if I need to. Why so complicated? <laughs> Picture everything you own in a grave. Picture that grave somewhere that's very, very hard to reach. Shudder. <laughs> that's the point of Minecraft. Uh, well, actually, Minecraft doesn't even have graves. It just spews your stuff all over the place because you, you don't want to die. you got to get good. <laughs> this channel hopping for a minute while I wait on everyone to get ready to go out to dinner. Ah, all right. No problem, real password. Well, I'm probably going to be shutting the, uh, the stream down for now, and we'll see you guys later. It's the only way to get the banner to look that way in vanilla. Hmm. Piece of ink or something. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you're on YouTube, be sure to give a like. Uh, feel free to comment on the stream if you so desire. Hit the notification and subscription buttons so that you guys can check out uh, future streams. We usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Kashka usually streams on Twitch only on Thursday now. She's trying to at least. And this weekend, we have a special event. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. If you check out the vlog that I put up on the channel recently, we're starting up a new Dungeons & Dragons campaign. So that should be a lot of fun. I uh, look forward to that. Uh, if you're on Twitch, stick around and uh, we'll do a raid. Uh, probably won't pro probably won't raid the um, same person we raided last time because he had that uh, turned off so people couldn't actually talk on his chat. But anyway, thanks again, everybody, for stopping out. And we'll see you next time, those on YouTube. Bye.